Hello to all my writing warriors out there. You know who you are, and anybody else joining me um, for this video. Um, we're talking about writer wellness, and you know, for anybody else who sits all day long, uh, what you can do to combat the negative effects that sitting in a desk or at a desk in a chair all day long does to the body. So um, today we're going to discuss a little bit of things you can do for the lower body. Um, mostly we're going to be focused on the hips. Uh, hip flexors and what causes the pain in the lower back, which, fun fact, is probably not the lower back. Um, your body's built up of all different mechanics and you feel strained in one area, um, doesn't necessarily mean it's coming from that area. So, more often than not, when you are, uh, the, the chief complaint is lower back pain, it's usually caused by a tight hip flexor. Um, I'm not going to get too detailed in any of this. Uh, I do want to point out really quick these videos are strictly educational only. Um, I implore you to talk to your own physician or, uh, you know, a doctor before you start any of these. Um, especially, you never want to stretch a muscle cold. So before you get into any of this stuff, you know, really like warm up beforehand. But again, you know, consult the, uh, your physician before trying anything that I'm showing you here. Basically, I'm just trying to give you some idea the things that you can do and start incorporating into your workday. Um, also, like I said, it's purely for for uh, resource and education, so I'm not worried that the video doesn't look pretty. <laughs> so let's just dive right into it. Um, again, lower back pain, chief complaint. So one of the first moves I'm going to show you is very simple. Um, if you've done yoga, you know what I'm talking about. It's called the child's pose. So all you're going to do, let me just, I'm going to describe it first and then I'm going to go ahead and show you. You're just going to get down on your knees and then you're going to stretch your arms out in front of you and bring your head to the mat as low as you can. Um, and the more that you stretch forward, the more that your lower back is going to open up. So uh, again, try, if you're going to try this, first of all, consult the physician, but also do it to your comfort. Um, not everybody is, is as flexible as the next person, so um, it's all in your comfort, in your time. So. I'm just going to pull the mat back a little bit more so you can see what I'm talking about. So you would essentially you get up from your desk, you come down onto the floor or mat, whatever you have. You're on your knees, your hands are going to come out like this, head to the mat. Okay, really simple. So, and what that does, like I said, the more you stretch forward, the more it's going to open up the, the lower back. Okay. Um, Another one that I'm going to show you is a little bit more complicated, um, but this is going to be your hip opener. Um, and it's the one that I use daily. Um, just from sitting in the chair, it can cause a lot of havoc on the posterior and anterior pelvic tilt. Again, I don't want to get too technical on you. What that means is your hips are not in the alignment that they're supposed to be in because they're too tight. Not shortened, tight. Okay, <clears throat> so what you're gonna do, you're gonna step out with your leg like this. Your other leg's gonna trail back behind you. Let me step out a little bit more. Okay, so you're just gonna lean into this as comfortably as you want to be. So I can go out a little bit further like that. Okay, but you wanna feel the stretch in the back leg. It's over here, the, the back load. Um, and that's gonna open that right up. Let me show you from the other side what it looks like. So again, you step forward. This leg is trailing, okay? And then you're just going to lean into it as best as you can. If you need to, for that movement, you can get a block to stabilize yourself. Um, you can just, you get the block for right here, and you would put your hand on it so that you're not falling over, and you want, because you want your body to remain upright in that position. So that's two. Um, there's so many more that I can show you, um, and I will, but I don't want to overwhelm you today. So um, if you just want to try those two out or, you know, um, just anything really just to get you off, off the seat, do a really quick stretch so that it, you're not locked into one position for over eight hours or more. So that's Another quick rider wellness tip for you today. Um, I have more coming, so stay tuned.